And good evening and thanks for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. The trial has begun for a one-time state senator from Phoenix accused of sexual misconduct and molestation. Let's go to Joe Dana who was in the courtroom today. And Joe, that former senator, Tony Navarrete, appears to have a lot of support. Yeah, about a dozen people attending the trial were with Navarrete while he was led in and out of the courtroom, uh, talking with them, clearly supporting him. A couple of uh, women testified about the alleged misconduct. Prosecutors used Tony Navarrete's own words during their opening statement, playing an August 2021 secretly recorded phone conversation between Navarrete and one of the alleged victims. Navarrete is accused of sexual misconduct with two teenage boys during a roughly two-year period while the teens were living in his house. During one exchange, Navarrete tells the boy he was drunk, saying, quote, clearly I'm not happy with any of my actions, but these are actions I have to live with the rest of my life. The prosecution's first witness was also living in Navarrete's home during the time of the alleged abuse. She testified her younger brother woke her up one night to tell her Navarrete got into his bed and touched him. How did you react when you heard this? I was shocked and I hugged him. What the defense may have in its favor is that it is a delayed disclosure case. More than a year passed by the time police were notified of all allegations against Navarrete. The allegations that the state has said we will prove beyond a reasonable doubt. It will not be supported by physical evidence or scientific evidence. During cross-examination of the witness, the defense tried to demonstrate how some details of her story were not clear, including how much time passed when the first alleged victim made a second allegation. He came to you again and said, something happened again, right? Yes. How many days, weeks, or months later was that? I don't remember. A second woman also testified against Navarrete. We're expecting the two alleged victims to testify during this trial as well. Navarrete faces the possibility of up to 49 years in prison if convicted. Joe Dana, 12 News. All right, Joe, thanks.